action. Merry Christmas, y'all, from Texas. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she, she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. But the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which are told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. For the day we give you thanks for the season that we are celebrating here most we give you thanks for your son Heavenly Father we know the great sacrifice that he made in giving up his throne beside you and coming to earth as a babe here being born and here living as man because he needed to know the temptations that we would undertake so that he could be that great sacrifice for us and the intermediary for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each who is here this day that is participating in this show of gratitude to you. Father, we Hope that the things that are said and done here today would bring honor and glory to you. We give you thanks in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. Amen.